Hi there, I'm Laser. I am the writer and performer of A Shark Ate My Penis. I bet you're wondering more, so keep watching. I love musicals so much. I think the reason is, if I'm to dig into my own psychology, is that I really like people explicitly saying how they feel, because I have a hard time reading human emotion. <laughs> so, uh, you know, like they say, a, a musical in a musical, you burst into song when you can no longer s speak, like the emotion is too strong. And I think so frequently in real life, when the emotion gets too strong and we can no longer speak, we just stop and we go and hide. Um, but in a musical, you can have this opportunity to tell people how you're feeling and to process those feelings. Um, also, I just love musicals. I love the music. I love listening to it. You know, I've been a big like Disney musicals fan. You know, Alan Menken is my hero since I was a, a, a little baby boy. It's just the stuff that has always made the most sense to me. So um, it, it feels like both harder than, you know, straight theater in that you have to write songs and you have to figure out how to you know mic them and put music but it's also to me just like an easier way to tell stories because you can just say exactly what you're thinking and the corniness is part of it the show i'm doing is called a shark ate my penis a story of guys like me a history of guys like me um it's a show about trans men through the past and the reason uh i wanted to write it is i i've been reading um especially one book called Female Husbands by Jen Mannion. And it told these stories of these guys who were trying to live their truth, you know, from 1700 to 1900 in a world where there wasn't, the word transgender didn't even exist, right? Um, but at the same time, their stories are so similar to mine and so relatable, uh, you know, on an emotional level and on, a, you know, a logistical <laughs> level of how do you try to get people to see you as a man? Um, and how do you get through your life? And how do you find a, a woman who wants to be with you, even though you may not have, you know, the life that people are expecting given the way you look? Um, and it was just, it immediately hit me in the face of like, I have to write a musical about this. I have to tell these people stories because the songs that they would sing are the same songs that I would sing um, about their feelings and their struggles. The main story of the musical is, is mine. It's a story about me and how I came out as trans and how, why I didn't come out at earlier, um, which is kind of the big mystery for me because when I look back, it's everything is so obvious. Uh, so it's it's going through that and then diving into the stories of these role models of these guys throughout history and how their stories are pretty much the same as mine um and also uh dealing with transphobia and people who say that it's not real and and the internalized transphobia that comes from you know being a member of this society which is represented by uh, jk rowling in the show so we have it's it's the, the actual plot has a lot of time travel, has a lot of conversations, has a lot of songs, but ultimately it's just a, a story told in a funny way about my journey. My, my goal with this show and what I want the audience to get out of it is catharsis. Um, I, I don't like shows about queer trauma, so I try to keep it light and try to, the point of it is, hey, we have always been here and here are some stories that you may not know from history and also the struggle that we have of of defining our identities and finding the right label um is both universal and not the end all be all right it's you just just being yourself and knowing who you are is enough and that's my goal with the show whether you're trans or not um i hope that you can learn something and also learn something about your own journey on the way. I'm Laser Weber, creator of A Shark Ate My Penis, and you should come see it, and you will be able to uh, enjoy that. It's a really good time, and I hope you'll come out.